Hello, Jacob here again. Today, we're doing another episode of the Spotlight. Today, we're looking at a game called Power Hover. Now, this is a game which came out on the 10th of January on Steam. It is currently £5.59, so probably about 8 or $9 or so. Um, it's only got about 10 reviews on Steam, yeah, user reviews, so it's not a game which has uh, got that much attention, really. But uh, yeah, I uh, picked it up and I've played about half an hour of the game or so, and I think it's pretty good, so I'm going to uh, get back into it and uh, show it off. Also, uh, it's uh, made by a studio called Odd Rock, uh, which is actually their first, this is actually their first release on Steam as well, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get back into it. Um... So this is the level select screen here. Um, the game, as you can see, uh, kind of has a fairly linear order. You just play through one level and then off the next one. Um, yeah, I've played through the first section here, so I've played through the first seven levels and defeated the, the boss stage here, which is the seventh one. Um, so yeah, let's just get to the next level and I will uh, explain the game as we go. So we're playing this robot here. He was, uh, he was uh, using this hoverboard to navigate the level. Uh, the basic setup of the game is the a kind of, I guess, you, like an evil robot has stolen power to our village, and basically we are collecting the batteries here to uh, restore power to our village. Uh, the game's story is kind of inconsequential, really. I mean, <coughs> it's uh, not really that important. Um, yeah, each stage is uh, set up like this, where you go in a you go in a straight line from beginning to end, and there are uh, we're also collecting these batteries and avoiding obstacles as we go. Ah, oh, actually died there. So if you the uh, start like each stage, we have uh, three lives. Uh, if you die, you go back to a checkpoint. Uh, so okay, let's not die here this time. Oop, there we go. Nice. Got another checkpoint here. So each level is fairly short. Each level is about, I don't know, maybe, maybe uh, you know, well, there, there are a few long ones, but each level is about maybe two minutes to about five minutes long. They're, they're pretty short. Um, but some levels you will all take a few goes. Because if you if you run out of lives, uh, it's a bit difficult to control here. Um, if you run out of lives during the level, you do have to go back to the beginning. Dodge these uh, fans. I actually missed a battery there. I'm not getting too far off the edge to um, end of the level here. Which should be the last section here. Um, but yeah, at the end of the stage, we can do get we will get scored on our performance. Oh, shit. Always got hit there. Dodge that. Try and get this battery. So he actually missed one battery, so we almost actually hit the stage perfectly, but not quite. So here we are at the end of the stage, so the number of batteries determines how much. Um, power we get here at the end. So yeah, obviously we get rated on the star rating. The more batteries you get, the higher star rating and the more power you, power you get. So let's um, go back to the level select screen. And uh, you can use the power here to unlock upgrades. So this one is uh, 1500. We've got 1600 power at the top so you can buy this. So that is uh, more power to the battery magnet. Uh, I'm not sure what the battery magnet actually does. I, think, I guess it makes, it makes your so you can pick up the batteries at a longer range. So if you go down here, you can look at our stats. So this is our character. Uh, there are other characters here to unlock. I'm not sure how you actually unlock these. As you can see here, we've upgraded these. So our magnet is one. Our base life count is three. Start off is two. And our backup is one. So yeah, you can, you can upgrade these stats as you go along. Uh, the backups here, it's basically just a... When you run out of lives, you can get three more lives on the stage. Um, it's kind of like a... Uh, it's basically like... Um, like a retry, so you'd have to go all the way back to the beginning. Um, so yeah, no, let's uh, buy this upgrade. And uh, yeah, we can move on to the next stage now. Uh, okay, let's move on to the next stage. So, uh, ah, I forgot to mention actually, the, uh, oh, this is, uh, this guy's actually the guy who stole the power from our village. He is, uh, so there are some levels where you, where you kind of have to chase him and he will yeah, he drops bombs you have to kind of uh, avoid hitting I actually forgot to mention that the, I should have mentioned this at the beginning but the 
the game is actually very simple in its design. Um, well, the uh, oh shit, we'll see that that bomb there. There are the controls are very simple. You just have to use the left stick to move left and right, and that's pretty much all there is to the to the game in terms of uh, controls. Um, oh shit! Oh shit! We missed that there. You, you can actually uh, grind. Yeah, you need to actually. You're supposed to grind these uh, these here. Oh shit! Oh shit! Took a took a hit there. Yeah, despite, despite the kind of simple nature of the game, I do actually like it quite a bit. Um, let's get this dodge up there. And I think there's a kind of a couple of reasons for that. I think the main one is just the kind of quite good. Uh, yeah, just the the nice level design goes a long way. The uh, levels are quite uh, nicely designed and kind of offer quite a bit of challenge. Looks like Mr. Battery there. It's extra life coming out. Oh, dodge the bomb. Oh, ah, uh, shit. That's close. There we go. Nice. So, oh, um, okay, we can actually get that life there because I think we're on max lives anyway. It looks like. Yeah, even though the from the control perspective the game is very simple, the uh, the kind of very good level design goes a long way to kind of making it more enjoyable. Oh, we've actually got a life there. I'm not happened to that ever life. Must have missed it. And um, there was a level which I might actually go back and show off. There was a level earlier on which is actually really cool where there were these kind of worms jumping out the sand, and you had to kind of dodge the worms in order to. They're kind of jumping out the sand. Yeah, I had to kind of guess where they're going to land in order to avoid them. Uh, we actually got 30 out of 40, 39 batteries there, so we actually missed uh, only missed one again. Um, let's go to the next stage. Uh, can't buy any more upgrades. What are these upgrades here? Increases your base life cap by one. Uh, we have one backup. Uh, Navigating the uh, playing with the controller, but ooh, oh, there we go. There's a new character. Oh, actually, this um, it's a lot of new character. Let's uh, go down here. So, which character do we unlock? We got this character here. I'm not sure if having the, I'm not sure if changing the character actually does anything. It seems there's just like a, a new skin, I guess. Uh, I guess we'll find out when we actually play the game, I suppose. Um. The other thing I really like about the game is the the way the character controls. Okay, this is another chase level. Yeah, I think it's just a new skin, I think, this new character. But the, the character here kind of has a... Oh, oh, fuck. So I'd like to actually carry on to the next stage, which I didn't actually didn't realise that. Um, so it's not going to the bomb this time. Let's go over to the side. And the character has a nice kind of momentum to him. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. But, um, yeah, it's like he... The character has... It's quite weighty, the... Fuck. The uh, character that we're controlling here. Like, if we move over to the right, kind of swing over to the right, and then come back over to the left, like, he kind of has... You know, he's not kind of... Ah, shit. Like, this is kind of immediately move. He kind of has a bit of momentum behind him. Like, if you, I'm not sure you can kind of see it here, but... Like, if we swing over to the left and then go right, he kind of doesn't quite go... You know, doesn't move to the right straight away. He kind of has a bit of momentum to him. You kind of have to control. Ah. It's quite nice. Shit, okay. Doing pretty poorly here. And I think I do quite like about the game as well how the kind of camera kind of swings around. Like, obviously, in this stage, we're playing in an overhead perspective, whereas. Like that. Oh, never one! Fuck! Okay, let's use our backup here. That's going to set up like the checkpoint. I think you get one of those each stage, I think. Oh, fuck. Dead already. I forgot what I was saying now. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, about the camera, yeah, kind of shifting um, to overhead perspective here. There's some levels where it kind of switches between, it'll kind of be behind you for a bit and then kind of you'll swing upwards and stuff. It's, uh, it's quite nice. Yeah, I think for the... I think for the price they're asking for this game, I think it's pretty reasonable. Like, there's, um, there's not, like, a ton of depth in the game here or anything. It's quite a simple game, but... It's also quite a cheap one as well. Uh, we're doing a bit better now, thankfully. Let's avoid that mine. He's probably going to drop a bomb now, isn't he, soon? Oh, shit. He's probably gone to the right there. Oh, shit. Almost hit the wall there. Yeah, just concentrate here. Let's get to the checkpoint. Okay, we're doing a bit better now. Let's get the batteries. Oh, we've got an achievement. Um, yeah, I think the although the game is fairly simple, um, I think that the the price is kind of fair enough, really. I mean, they aren't charging too much for it. Like I said, it's only £5 on Steam. 
Um, I don't think I do quite like what the game is the kind of visual style as well. The game is made using the uh, Unity engine. But, um, the game has quite a nice, quite a nice look to it. You can see. There we go. End of the stage. Probably not going to get the full, full marks for that one because we missed quite a few. Oh, we're oh, three short of fifty. A bit sweating there. Um, let's keep playing. Oh, what's this? Um, comes to it's a cutscene, I think. Uh, distant wind carried a story about a virus infecting robots. So there's no voice acting in the game. Which is kind of fair enough, really. Uh, the infected would halt interaction and start hoarding energy. Then, one by one, they started disappearing. Okay, let's do that. Eventually, also, the story is stopped. Okay, well, we've got a... Kind of a bit of backstory there, I guess. What's this? Yeah, one plus backup. Increases the base. Uh... Yeah, I'm still not sure what the magnet does. I think it increases the range of you where you can pick up batteries. I'm not 100% sure. Um, the game doesn't actually... The game kind of... Um, lets you kind of figure stuff out for yourself, largely. I mean, there isn't that much to the game anyway. So let's, um, let's move on to the next stage. I'm just going to play... In, I'm going to play to the next boss area. And then... Uh, I'll uh, kind of end the video there, probably. Ooh, hello. And I think it's quite cool about the game is how each level is um, it's, uh, a bit different as well. Let's get these batteries. Like, I've not played... There's quite a few... Like, so what we're on now, stage 11, are we? Something like that. And each stage kind of had a nice kind of little kind of new gimmick to it. Like, this one is obviously something a bit different, which you've not seen before, with these kind of drawers coming out of the ground and stuff. Um, in terms of kind of... Things I like to see for the game is maybe just kind of the game being in a little bit. Oh shit, missed the, missed the battery there. Maybe the game being a little bit more difficult. Like so far, it's not really been. Ah shit. Uh, the game hasn't really been that difficult, really. I've kind of flown through, kind of flown through most of the levels. This is quite cool though. How we kind of have to. Ah shit. I quite like this though. How the kind of drills come out of the ground. You kind of have to remember where they are. Oh, missed that battery there. There we go. Nice. That one as well. Uh, uh, nice. Oh shit, what's going on here? Whoa! It's got that life. I don't want to die here. Yeah? Nice. Oh, yeah, we got it. Nice. Let's get the batteries. Nice checkpoint. Nice. That one. Nice. I see these ones here. Nope. Out the ground, more stuff out the ground. Okay, nice. Not too difficult. But yeah, like I said. Yeah, like I say. Ah, shit. Just died there. I, I've got to say, just like I was saying, the game is not especially difficult. But um, I mean, I've flown for the most, flown for most levels of the game. There's a couple where I uh, died quite a few times, but overall, it's not too difficult, really. I like to see the game maybe be a little bit more difficult. Ah, shit. Missed those batteries there. Not a great performance there by me. You know, the challenge of the game kind of comes more from just playing the levels, playing like, kind of levels multiple times in order to kind of get a better score and get more upgrade points. Really, uh, let's see. Let's just carry on. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice to kind of see maybe a bit more to the game, like um, just to kind of give it a bit more kind of replay value, like maybe you know, like a trick system. Because um, when you kind of hit these ramps, your character just kind of automatically does a trick. He kind of jumps off the ramp and does a trick for you automatically. Like, it'd be nice to kind of see, you know, some, something like that. Or maybe like kind of an end, like an endless mode where you kind of just kind of go endlessly and trying to get a high score or something. Though there is a challenge mode. I'll have a look at that after I've... Uh, I'll have a look at that in a moment because I've not had a look at the challenge mode yet. I've actually seen these lasers been before. We should, uh, we'll probably get to show this off on the boss stage. Uh, I forgot to mention actually the the game soundtrack is actually quite quite good. It's a uh, quite a laid back soundtrack, but um, it suits the game quite well. Yeah, we can actually go left or right, yeah. Something a bit different. Let's 
got that battery. Nice. Not too difficult this level. Doesn't seem like it. anyway. I'm not sure what these kind of uh, left to right choices are about. With laser beams. So maybe you have to kind of uh, go a certain way to get a certain battery, I guess. There's no batteries in that tunnel there. Yeah, I think we missed a couple. Okay, one short bit of a Hey, what's this upgrade here? Lock a new character. Um... Oh, you know, let's, uh, let's unlock another new character, why not? So you've unlocked this guy now. Yeah, it'd be kind of nice to kind of maybe see the characters be a bit different as well, because... Like I said, maybe kind of have... You know, each character kind of have like a different ability or something, just to kind of... Just to mix it up a bit, because these... From what I can tell, each character is just kind of the same. Just a, just a, just a you know, a different skin. Well, this guy isn't really a robot. Well, they did kind of have a little like some sort of robotic eye. Okay, I've got, like, got that battery, nice. There's not really a whole lot else I can really say about um, Power Hover now, to be honest. It's kind of just, uh, you know, it's just this over and over again, really. But it's it's pretty enjoyable. And like I said, it is pretty cheap. Only, only a five on Steam. Uh, that pop-up is a bit irritating. I don't know if you saw that in the background, but it's quite a bit of pop-up in the game from, uh, you know, from faraway objects. Oh, oh shit! Ah, fuck. Up. Well, we'll show off the boss stage after this one. The boss stage are a little bit different from the normal stages. Well, the boss stages are basically just uh, survival stages where you have to long, last as long as possible. Whereas obviously these are just kind of uh, you know linear stages with uh, a set 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 um, set layout. Oh, it's quite difficult actually this bit. Here's our backup. Okay, so I'm just trying to uh, not get hit by these this time. Okay, nice. So once you kind of get the layout of the stage, it's not too difficult to kind of get through. I find. Kind of learning the stage is kind of the difficult part. Once you kind of learn the layout, you can kind of quite easily kind of make your way through. Batteries. Missed a couple there. Yeah, like I said, it would just be nice just to see a bit more to the game, like maybe have like some sort of power ups or something. Just to kind of mix it up a bit, you know. Because although each stage is a bit different, I, like, uh, like the first stage isn't really that different. Oh shit, this one, huh? This another one. Shit, okay. Yeah, from a, from a gameplay perspective, the game isn't really that different from the first stage to this one, really. Oh shit, fuck with that. This bit's, quite, this bit's a little bit tricky. Ah, oh, fuck. If you stand here, we should be able to get through this bit. Nice. Better. Should try to straight here. Ah, fuck. Oh, we've got to go back to the beginning now. That's a bit irritating. Okay, let's try again. So that's really the first time I actually died on the in the video. I think that's really the second time I've died in the whole game as well. Uh, I'm not sure how long the game is, to be honest. I'm guessing the game is not all that long, to be honest. Um, I've played for about an hour. Uh, I'm guessing it's maybe, you know... I'm guessing it's probably sort of maybe three or four hours of content here, to be honest. It's not a especially long game, I don't think, but... I think for the price, it's kind of, you know, fair enough, really. Man, Mr. Battery there. Yep. 
as you can see, now we kind of know what's coming. This level's a bit easier now, you know, kind of know, know what to expect. Okay, we'll clear the stage, we'll uh, do the boss stage, and I'll have a look at the challenge mode, and then I think that will uh, we'll wrap up the video then, I think. That's a bit better. Nice. Shit, missed that one. I got that one, nice. Nice, we got the got three star rate at that, that stage. Okay. Let's uh Head down to the boss, boss thing. Yeah, basically here we have to make it a certain distance into the stage in order to to pass, basically. Oh shit. Ah, fuck. Dead ready. So you have to make it to 4,500 meters. Well, you have to make it to 1,500 meters to pass the stage and 4,500 four, uh, 4, to get full marks for the stage. So, um... Should be quite tricky. This one seems a bit difficult, more difficult than the last one. It's also quite tricky controlling a character on uh, in this kind of cylinder as well. Just because you can't it's quite easy to get disorientated a little bit when you're kind of upside down. The last stage is actually to stay. It was a stay rectangle. It wasn't like this. Okay, we're getting the hang of it now. We're on uh, 900 meters, so we're doing all right. This is quite cool though. That's what I mean though about kind of the game doing quite a good job of kind of making each stage a little bit different from the last one. Like um the level the level variety and level design is quite good, even though the even though the actual, you know character is fairly simplistic control to actually control. Let's just, just concentrate here because we no oh, we've passed the stage now, so let's just see how far we can make it. It's not too difficult now, I've got the hang of it. You only get one life here though, as you, as you, well, you saw that anyway, we we died. So we're going to try back to the beginning if, uh, beginning if we die. Quite a nice track here as well for this stage. It's not too difficult now, we've got the hang of it. Yeah, I quite like uh, Power Hover though. Like I said, it would be nice to kind of see a bit more to it. You know, I, oh shit! Ah, oh, fuck, we're dead. How far did we make it? Uh, not quite three thousand. It's spoiling. Um. Hmm. So let's, uh, let's go back a second. Um. Let's go back. Let's have a look at the challenges here. I don't mean to do that. Challenges. There we go. So this um. Let's have a look what this is all about. So there are characters here we can pick. Now these ones actually have different stats. We have to collect bolts here to unlock them. Uh, let's have a look here. Challenge two. Oh, there's only four challenges. Okay, let's try the first one. Um, yeah, I kind of should there's a bit, a bit more to the game. Like, you know, like, uh, oh shit, dead already. Okay, so this is the... Looks like this is never kind of last as long as you can kind of stage, it seems. Oh, no, maybe not. Well, this is quite difficult. Uh... I just kind of wish there was just a bit more to the game, you know. It's quite, well, there's a lot of batteries here. I'm um, guessing we can't get them all by the looks of it. No, it'd be impossible to get them all. Uh, guess we get 20. Shit, no. That's yeah, not too, too bad now. More batteries. Okay. Oh, I see. So, uh, yeah, okay, I see. So it's going to actually just carry on. So that was level one, but level two is going to be 25, I guess. Uh, we've got 4,000 bolts, which we can't do anything with at the moment. Um, okay, well, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, let's do one more stage and then we'll kind of wrap up what I think about the game. Uh, what's this here? Don't want that. I want to see what this upgrade down here is. Oh, what's this upgrade here? Collect extra life once in a while. That just puts extra life in the stage sometimes. More power 
to the battery magnet, okay? Yeah, I'll upgrade, upgrade any up here. Let's have a look. Um, no, I haven't got any for any of those. It's the lighthouse. So that's a uh, power hover. It's um, it's pretty good overall, I think. I mean, um, there's not really a whole lot to really complain about. Like I said, uh, I kind of wish there was just a bit more, t bit more to it. Oh, missed that one. Um, you know, just maybe kind of have the have the cactus kind of have abilities or. Yeah, just, get, just kind of have a bit more, a bit more variety in the gameplay, really. It's because it is, it is quite samey, you know. It's kind of going for the stages, um, collecting batteries, and just avoiding obstacles. That's really all there kind of is to it. Even though I do, as much as I like the game, it is just a little, you know. Oh, I have to actually grind there. I'm paying attention. You know, it's just a little bit, a little bit samey, I guess. After a while, just gonna get some more. Find a one here. Very yeah, nice. You know, but I can't complain too much because, like I said, the game is pretty cheap overall. I think it's you know, I think this is a fair price for a fair, fair amount of game really. I would like to see like a sequel to this where the developer kind of expands on on this idea and kind of makes you know makes it a bit more interesting. You know. I nice dodge that one. Okay, so you can see here that the kind of camera swinging up above us. We kind of start off behind us, then we kind of back the uh, camera's kind of swinging up to a overhead overhead perspective here, which is quite it's quite cool. Goes to the end of the stage. I'm not sure what, I'm sure what those things there are. They're beeping at us. Where's the lighthouse? We missed a. We almost got all of them. Only missed two. It can be nice to kind of see a bit more of an interesting upgrade system as well because the the upgrades aren't really that interesting. Like, um, like it'd be nice if you kind of if you kind of kind of, if you could, uh, kind of upgrade your character in kind of a bit more of a kind of meaningful way. Um, yeah, because it's not the uh, the upgrades aren't that interesting really. It's kind of fairly passive upgrades. So anyway, let's get this. Let's get this one. Uh, I do want to do that. And, uh, yeah, controlling the menu of the controller is a little bit irritating as well. It's quite nice. There is like it's quite nice that there is a little bit of kind of replay replay value by this one. Obviously, you know, playing the stages again, you can kind of replay the stage and kind of upgrade your high score and get more upgrade points, which just kind of make for quite a nice bit of replay value, I suppose. But I want you to play the stage once. I'm kind of don't, not really interested in playing it a second time really that much. You see, yeah, there's quite a bit of content though, because we can play through this area. There's another area after this one, so that's four areas. There's probably maybe five areas to play through, I guess, maybe. Um, I'm not 100% sure. But overall, I think it's pretty good value though for the price. Good little game. Um, not a ton to really complain about. I just kind of wish, yeah, like I said, my only real. Not really complain, but my only kind of wish is that there was just a. Just a bit more to the game, really. You know, it's just a. It's quite simplistic. Even though what it, what is here is quite good, it is it is quite simple, you know. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I think that will. Uh, I think that kind of wraps up my thoughts on the game, really. Um, so that has been Power Hover from Odd Rock. Um, five pound on Steam. Worth checking out, I think. Um, and I think it's probably worth the the full asking price. I think. Um, so yeah, that kind of wraps it up really. So uh, yeah, I've been Jacob. This has been a spotlight on Power Hover. I shall see you in the next episode of the spotlight where I'll be doing another video on a game on Steam which deserves a bit of love, but um, kind of hasn't really been. Nobody really knows about, but it deserves a bit of love. Um, so yeah, go check this one out, and I'll see you in the next episode. And uh, yeah, I guess bye for now. Do all the like and subscribe and all that comment and all that kind of bullshit, and I shall see you see you in the next episode. So bye for now. Bye.